1,000 shilling. Uh, because of the durability of the, you know, of, of the coin compared to the paper notes, you know, these are, you know, these lower denomination notes are, are used by the people at the bottom of the pyramid. So the frequency of usage is quite high. It rarely comes back to the banking system. By the time it comes back to the banking system, it's, it's, it's mutilated and what have you. So you find that the replacement ratio of these notes is very, very, uh, very, very high and therefore expensive. Whatever you deposit in, the, you know, in, 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 in you know, into a, com a commercial bank and is later on brought to Bank of Uganda, most of it ends up as being cancelled. And yet, printing of the you know the currency notes is 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 uh, the cost of printing is very high. So we believe that coining might offer a better solution than printing, than the continued printing of the paper notes. So. I'm not very conversant with the timetable for that, but I think the plan is just to, to coin the 1,000 as a cost reduction measure. After the, uh, you know, the policy is approved, then you start the process, the procurement process, the design ZTC, which will take a while. So I don't think we have a timeline at the moment, as I, I do analyst came out recent, but at least in my understanding that we don't, we, we're just starting the process. There shouldn't be any panic. No, there shouldn't be any panic at all. So the coin, even if the coin was to come, it will remove, uh, uh, you know, together with the with the note until further notice when the notes are completely, go, uh, three by three are completely withdrawn. 